My name is Israel James, and you are now watching Israel James TV. It's always been a struggle for me to express how I'm truly feeling at that time when I write. At the beginning, it was like all my all my songs and all my music was a polar opposite of how I felt at that time. If I was feeling lonely or down, I would write a party song. If I was having feelings for a girl and was feeling rejected, then I would just overcompensate stupidly in my music. I was making music for more of a shock factor than anything else, I would say. The glasses, the hats, the swag, all this, like, that was just to distract people from who I really was as a person because I didn't know who I was as a person. I felt a disconnect from society at that time extremely because the social demographics of Western Kentucky, I mean, it's, the atmosphere isn't really made for hip hop music or rappers. And I think that as time goes by and, and people see that I'm still making music and see growth and maturity in my music and my craft, I think they're gonna realize that this is just who I am. I can't, I don't know just to be any different. Was dancing with the devil, thinking I could tame her. Sitting at that bar again, drinking away my anger. I had venom in my blood. Miller was my flavor. Would choke away that swisher. Would smoke away that paper. Couldn't wait till I got high. All stresses turned to vapors. Never listened to them lectures. My attention was home to me. Was the first time that I ever connected with the song for my soul. I'll never forget the night that I wrote that song. It was about midnight and I was having trouble sleeping. It was a very low time in my life and I was listening to a few few songs. And about the third instrumental that came on was, was that beat. And I never connected with a song like that that was so real. I wasn't writing to distract people from who I really was. I, that was really who I was in music. I got out of bed about midnight and it started uh, about a nine hour writing process. My creative process normally takes anywhere from six to 10 hours and I'll just completely stay in it because if I leave that moment, then I lose that connection with that song, with that feeling. So I started about midnight and came out of it about 9 a.m. in the morning, the next morning, and I was two miles from my house, walking across a bridge, my favorite bridge, that I used to uh, play on as a kid. Like I needed that at that time. God reached down and saved me at the very last second. And all he wanted was for me to give him my music and he turned around and gave it right back to me because all he wanted was the understanding that he gave it to me. It might be complicated for some of you all to realize, but it's actually a simple concept. Give God the credit and whatever you do and whatever you love. He doesn't want us to be unhappy. He wants us to do the things that we like. I mean, he gave us the gifts. But all he wants is to give him credit and to worship him and follow him. And then he's going to take that gift and he's going to take it from this level and he's going to send it. I mean, you can move mountains through faith. Have faith in your abilities. Have faith in the promises that he's made you. He's the one who made you. He knows you better than any person, anything in the whole world. He wants you to be happy. He wants you to use your gift for the betterment of serving his people. 
home to me is being in alliance with God and the gift that He gave you. And walking in faith for a better future. A better future for your family, a better future for your community, and ultimately His kingdom. My music still has an edge to it. And this project that I'm getting ready to release in the near future is called Flesh. Because as a Christian, I'm not a Christian rapper. I'm a rapper that is a Christian. I don't make worship music. I make music for the lost. Everybody can have their own opinion. They're entitled to their opinion. But just know that my incentives behind my music are pure. It takes time, Christianity, and, and just being an individual. Maturity takes time. I'll stop this real soon when you're back safe with me. When you come home, I'll stop this. I haven't seen my newest video titled Home, directed by The Hunter Lion Films. Be sure to check that out on YouTube. You can also download the tracks from iTunes, Amazon Music, and all other online musical platforms. But until next time, y'all be careful. Praise God. And this is your boy Israel James. Thanks for watching. Peace.